November 15, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and nine months into the invasion of Crimea. Day 631 of Special Putin's three-day operations. Big picture. The plucky and determined Ukrainian defenders again have refused to accept the tyranny of the Kremlin on this day. Since our last update Ukraine has had a number of successes. The Ukrainian army has removed another $1.2 billion in Russian equipment from the clutches of the Kremlin, in the last 14 days. Ukraine's foothold on the left bank has been confirmed, and continues to hold. The Kremlin continues to burn infantry and vehicles in attempt to steal Avdiivka and surroundings. Kremlin command staff is finding it very difficult to stay alive in Ukraine. Dnieper line. Ukraine appears to have gone for it, and is having some success punishing Kremlin invaders here. The deep state mapping project has confirmed that Ukraine has secured landing at Dacha at the Antonivka bridge. The current landing location at the town of Kry and Ky is hotly contested, and the surrounding hectares of pines have served to help screen Kremlin forces. For all the cover from those trees, the Kremlin troops have been complaining that Ukrainian drones have been highly effective in this area. Zaporizhia Front. After the summer counteroffensive here, both sides have rotated troops, but little has changed in lines. Ukraine has taken some ground around Verbov and west of Robotine. With winter upon Ukraine, it is unlikely that either side will make serious attempts to push the lines here. The Kremlin has attempted multiple attack waves into the contested areas with only heavy losses to show for the efforts. A Kremlin mouthpiece suggests that Speznaz who have been loitering near the river town of Kamiansk made an attack on the village of Platikatki. Such elite troops being placed under constant drone and artillery strikes for such an attempt, can only be achieved properly under the Kremlin's guidance. East Front, Donetsk. Avdiivka being so close to the Donetsk metropolitan area, the Kremlin has a lot of cover to bring troops forward without being immediately spotted. Since our last video way back when, the Kremlin has lost thousands more men here, and dozens more vehicles of all types, for about 5 square kilometers of farmlands along the rail line north of the coke plant. Bakhmut area. One other spot of Kremlin thefts in the last two weeks has been immediately east of the city of Bakhmut. Oskil border front. Very little has changed here. Attacks by the Kremlin were rebuffed along almost all of the front at least once. The invading army has shown some minor success east of Kupiansk, where Kremlin forces have been taking heavy losses for minimal gains. Northern border. Ukraine appears to have put a beaver drone strike on the primary factory for Kinshul missiles, southeast of Moscow. Closer to the border the Free Russian Legion took credit for a successful ambush on an FSB officer traveling in his car. Shelling continues in both directions. Black Sea. The Crimean lands have seen yet more strikes on Kremlin officers, making the sandy grounds a little more fertile. Ukrainian naval forces have shown video evidence of the destruction of two modern beach landing craft, each designed to hold approximately one APC or tank or similar. These craft were carelessly anchored near the mouth of the Dnieper. To us, this is suggesting that the losses of the Russian Black Sea Command staff has confounded the Kremlin's capabilities in naval coordination. Ukraine world related. Nobody on earth is carrying a bigger pair than Ukrainians, and that continues to be validated. France will be assisting Ukraine by sponsoring the purchase of new French manufactured equipment and vehicles. Eight archer artillery pieces were brought to Ukraine after training in Sweden. Finland is sending another $400 million in arms and material. Germany just dropped another weapon package to assist Ukraine, sending 10 Leopard 1s, a little over 20 combat vehicles of various important types, drones, radar and electronic systems, heavy freight trucks, and over a million firearm rounds. The elusive F-16 has been spotted in Romania, where Ukrainians are practicing more fun ways to make orcs run. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.